Osman and I came together to do this class because we're really interested in answering the question, what happens when art starts to learn? Right, and I think uh, the combination, especially at Carnegie Mellon, of uh, combining art and computer science was an exciting prospect. So the goal of the class is to build art installations using machine learning. The students took algorithms for machine learning. They tried to learn to make predictions from data or try to learn to act from data to build interesting and thought-provoking art installations. The curator, what it's doing is analyzing the set of drawings it's given over time and trying to find unique new drawings. This is typically used to detect credit card fraud. You have uh, use your credit card in a normal way and then you try to figure out when is there an anomalous use of the credit card. Here they're trying to use it to figure out what is art and what's novel in art. Uh, my project at the Children's Museum today is a prejudice robot. Uh, you stand in front of the robot and it detects your face and it has a database of friends and non-friends and if it likes you it'll shake your hand. The goal for our project was to create an interesting interactive experience for the kids and to also very slightly teach children about prejudice. And the other thing, of course, these installations are doing is understanding how people participate with artwork. So in the skeleton project, to approach something and to be rejected and how does that actually make us feel to be, that, that notion to be highlighted is something that, again, we're exploring here. And uh, I, I'm very excited about the class. It's really not about machine learning, it's more about the art process and what you can get out of it, but it's interesting that machine learning can play a role like a medium, like painting or maybe light plays a role in other art pieces. This class really helped us think a lot more about the system and how it thinks. And uh, we created this grid of LEDs that floats in the air above you. And they each are checking with their neighbors and trying to pulse together. So they're kind of, it's kind of a searching piece. And if you come near it, you'll disrupt it and they'll all shut off. But if you sit still, they'll all start pulsing again together around you. It's a very exploratory kind of class because no one has defined what art that learns is. In a way, I think what we want this class to sort of introduce is not to see technology as something the other side of the campus does, but rather it's like Carlos was saying, just another medium and to treat it just like paint.